continuously variable transmissions or CVTs have become increasingly popular in modern vehicles, promising better fuel efficiency and a smoother driving experience. But why do so many drivers report issues with these transmissions? Today, we're diving deep into why CVT transmissions have earned a bad reputation. First, let's understand what a CVT is and how it works. Unlike traditional automatic transmissions with a fixed number of gears, a CVT uses a belt and pulley system to create an infinite range of gear ratios. This allows the engine to operate more efficiently by always staying in the optimal power range. On paper, CVTs offer several advantages. They provide seamless acceleration without the shift shock associated with traditional automatics, and they can significantly improve fuel economy, especially in stop and go city driving. So, what's the catch? Despite these benefits, many drivers have voiced serious concerns about CVTs. The most common complaints include delayed acceleration, a droning engine sound at high RPMs, and even a sudden transmission failure. When it comes to delayed acceleration, drivers often notice a lag when they press the gas pedal, which can be frustrating in situations where quick acceleration is needed, like merging onto a highway. A 2017 Nissan Altima owner reported a dangerous delay during acceleration when trying to pass another vehicle, leading to a near-miss situation. Another common issue is the droning noise that CVTs produce at high RPMs. Unlike traditional automatics, which shift gears and change the engine's pitch, CVTs often keep the engine at constant RPM during acceleration, leading to an unpleasant, monotonous sound. For example, owners of the Subaru Forester have frequently complained about the loud, droning noise during uphill drives, making long trips uncomfortable. Unfortunately, the problem doesn't end here. One of the biggest concerns with CVTs is their reliability and longevity. Unlike traditional transmissions, CVTs have a complex design that can lead to more frequent and costly repairs. The belt and pulley system is prone to wear and tear, especially under high stress, leading to early failures in some cases. For instance, Mitsubishi Outlander owners have reported their CVTs failing as early as 60,000 miles, often requiring a complete transmission replacement. We see a lot of CVTs coming in for repairs earlier than expected. The components are delicate, once they start to wear out, the whole transmission can be compromised. Unfortunately, replacing a CVT can be more expensive than repairing a traditional automatic transmission. Manufacturers are aware of these issues and have been working on improving CVT technology. Some brands have introduced reinforced belts, better cooling systems, and even hybrid systems to mitigate the stress on the transmission. Honda, for instance, has implemented a number of innovations in their CVT design, including improved hydraulic systems and advanced software control, which help in minimizing wear and tear. As a result, this transmission often lasts as long as the cars themselves, with many owners reporting trouble-free operation well past 100,000 miles. Toyota, on the other hand, has also excelled in CVT technology, particularly with their direct shift CVT used in the Corolla and Camry. Toyota's approach includes a physical first gear for initial acceleration before seamlessly transitioning to the belt-driven system. This is not only improves responsiveness, but also reduces the strain on the belt and pulleys, leading to longer transmission life. But are these improvements enough to change the perception of CVTs? There's definitely progress being made, but it's still a mixed bag. Some newer models show promise, but others continue to struggle with the same old problems. So, should you avoid CVTs altogether? Not necessarily. If you're looking for a vehicle primarily for city driving, or you're considering a hybrid, a CVT could still be a good choice. However, for those who demand more from their vehicles or plan on doing a lot of highway driving, a traditional automatic or even a manual transmission might be a better choice. In the end, whether a CVT is right for you depends on your driving habits and what you prioritize in a vehicle. While CVTs offer unique advantages, they also come with significant drawbacks that you should consider before making a purchase. 
What do you think about CVT transmissions? Have you had any experiences with them, good or bad? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more automotive insights.